journey comes to an end, it's of course been an extraordinary year, but Carly and I thought that we might take a moment and reflect on what's happened in this past year. And to thank you also for your contribution to our profession and to those that we provide care for. It's been an extraordinary year as an international year of the nurse, far more challenging than I think we ever thought that it would be. And it certainly also has been a year of new data, new statistics, and a whole new set of vocabulary that we've never heard before. So if we think about some of the things that we have learned in this past year, we know that approximately 10 million Australians have been tested for COVID-19. Fortunately, of that number, less than 0.3% have tested positive. Tragically, though, we have lost about 908 uh, Australian residents compared to over 1.5 million internationally, and that's rising quite exponentially, as we all know. There are estimates that over half a million healthcare workers have been affected with, infected with COVID-19 and the International Council of Nurses has indicated that 1,500 nurses at least have died but the number is probably higher. And the cost of course to the Australian population is about $800 billion. And I would be very surprised if there is anyone in the public now that does not know what the abbreviation PPE means. What they might not know is that each face mask costs $25. So those are some of the things that we've learned this year, but what will we actually remember in 2020? Thank you, Christine. And uh, Christine's right, this has been a remarkable and relentless year. And every person everywhere around the globe has been affected. And all we can say from uh, the Australian College of Nursing is that we wouldn't be where we are without the people that make up our college. We're all members in our own right and fellows and each one of you who has contributed in any small way uh, has made the remarkable con contribution of where we are. We've had our disclosure portal, we've put papers to the government, we've worked with the government, we've worked with nurses all around the country and we understand uh, how courageous and how challenging this year has been. We've all had loved ones that we've been worried about. And uh, in the face of such adversity, I couldn't be more proud to be part of this profession, to be leading this great college and to see the work that uh, we've been able to achieve. Uh, 2020 vision, we certainly do have a vision. It wasn't what we thought. In the year of the nurse and the year of the midwife, what we can say is that all health professionals, but particularly the nursing profession, has been remarkable in what we've achieved. And uh, I know that we will continue to make sure we fight for a seat at the table. Over to you, Christine. So thank you again for all that you've done this year. I know that there are there's some discussions at the moment about there being an Australian uh, nursing medal, and that might be a, a well deserved way of rewarding nurses, but I'm not convinced that's all that we deserve. I think we have demonstrated this year that we know how to how to move quickly, how to provide care and, and to residents or, or patients either in hospital or community. And I don't believe that there should therefore anymore be conversations about patient care or resident care and the resources that are required for providing that care without a nurse that's actually sitting at the table. And if you're fortunate enough to be the nurse at the table, then I urge you to find your voice and use it on our behalf. And to close, thank you for all you've done this year and I hope 2021 is a much more peaceful year. I hope so. From natural disasters at the start of the year and we thought that was tough enough, uh, then we've obviously seen the pandemic. Uh, for all nurses everywhere, for undergraduate nurses and for retired nurses, we, uh, we thank you on behalf of us at the Australian College of Nursing. Uh, from the bottom of our heart and with all our love, we wish you um, a safe and a peaceful new year. And we look forward to the challenges that 2021 brings and everything that we will conquer. We just need a holiday in between. But thank you everybody and for your contribution to the college to make us uh, everything that we are. Mm -hmm.